Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how I skim coated over a knockdown texture after doing some ceiling repairs. I had 16 of these holes to repair on this ceiling, and once that was completed, it was time to do the skim coating. So the reason I'm skim coating on this ceiling is simply there's just too many repairs that are done, and if you go and try and match each spot of this knockdown texture, you're gonna see where the repairs were. These people are selling their house, so they wanted to go ahead and just have a nice, consistent texture on their ceiling. The skim coat will eliminate any noticeable repairs, especially with the skip trial texture I'll be doing, and I'll show you a little bit of that later in this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification. And if you missed the first video where I did all the ceiling repairs, I'll leave a link down in the description to that video. As far as the material, materials and tools I'm using. I'm using an all-purpose USG joint compound. Um, it's a little thicker and that's what you need to go over a, a heavier texture like knockdown. Here's where I already skim coated. It's still drying so it looks a little blotchy. What I'll do is only one skim coat on this ceiling. Since I'm doing the skip trial texture, I will not do any sanding. I might just scrape a couple lines or something, but pretty much it'll be ready to go tomorrow morning for the skip trial texture. I'm using a blue steel 12 inch drywall taping knife and a 14 inch stainless steel mud pan. Like I said, I'm just getting the mud up there and then I just drop back, probably do about a three by four foot section at a time. And I drop back and just smooth it all out once I have the joint compound up. Whenever I'm going over a texture that's heavy, I really don't mix much water in with the joint compound. I just add a little bit to get it more creamy and easier to apply without the air bubbles. So here's the ceiling after I completed the skim coating. It's going to dry overnight and then I'll be skip trial texturing tomorrow first thing in the morning. I used about a, a full bucket of the all-purpose joint compound to skim coat this whole pool and I ceiling. Once the texturing is done, I will use a quality exterior primer and paint that seals all this up nicely. Got a thunderstorm rolling in. Glad I got the skim coating completed. As you can see, the, the texture is completely gone. You also can't see where there is the repairs so that's the goal we're shooting for make the repairs go away put on a new texture and bam you got a new ceiling it took me about four and a half hours to skim coat this entire pool and I ceiling so we'll let it dry overnight and then I'll be back in the morning to do the skip trial texture which will probably take about I don't know three hours maybe two hours. So here's a little overview of the whole project. Decent size area. All right, so it's the next day. Skim coat is dry. No sanding, just gonna get right into the skip trial texturing. All right, so I'm using my 12 inch drywall taping knife and a hawk to do the skip trial texture. You can also use a mud pan, but I prefer the hawk when doing a skip trial texture. I'm also using the all-purpose USG joint compound, thinned down a little bit, probably to a pancake batter consistency. And I also add sand to the skip trowel to give it the skip. I do have other videos for skip trowel. I'll leave a couple of those in the YouTube card above now. So here's where I've already skip troweled. It's a Mediterranean look. It goes perfect with the stucco at this oceanfront beach home in Florida. So as you can see, the skip trial texturing goes really fast and the hideability for skip trial texture is awesome. No prep hardly at all. I got some drop cloths on the ground. If I was going to be doing a knockdown texture, you would have to cover the walls, the pool, the floor, everything with plastic because when you spray a texture, it just goes everywhere. Be sure to leave me a hashtag drywall tube down in the comments if you're enjoying these videos. And be sure to keep an eye out for next week's video where I do a more in-depth look at the skip trial texture on this project. And if you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also the bell notification to get alerted whenever I post a new video. 
You might like this video here in the end screen. Click on it to learn more about skim coating and some tips and tricks that I have for you.